Hi everyone, welcome back to U46. Here we are, Silent Hunter 5. There's some moody music you may just be able to hear. It's just fading out. Almost like, you know, dark and sinister like Jaws. As you can see, the sea is incredibly calm. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We just got um, strafed by a Spitfire. Caused a little bit of, <laughs> a little bit of uh, scratching to the paintwork. But nothing really when it comes to damage. We're still at 90%. That's what we did when we scraped our our belly at the uh, at the Faroe Isles Harbour. Um, many of you are saying, "Oh, you missed the fact that you can give uh, the bosun a medal." There we go. Whoa! Hello! Hang on! I'm in the menu. Okay, <laughs> enough. You've had your moment. Wow. Good shooting, guys. Did they get that? Uh, no. <laughs> okay, it was. They did fire at it, but it just uh, lost control and crashed. Wow. Do we take any damage while we're in there? No, we didn't. Anyway, long and short of that, the bosun now has a medal. His morale has not. It's not that great actually, but um, all our officers are now. Um, sorted with an iron cross, which is pretty good. We have a full load of torpedoes. Where are we going? I hear you cry. Make sure there's no other um, enemies in the vicinity. Right, so we are here. We're coming past Rotterdam now. Uh, it is May 31st. 1940 uh, and many people have said why don't you head down to Dunkirk obviously the uh, evacuation from the beach of Dunkirk uh, was from the 27th of May to the 4th of June 1940 um, so we're coming down to Dunkirk to check out what's going on here so we should expect to see loads of abandoned equipment British equipment and the uh, expeditionary force equipment all sort of left on the beach and there's loads of if you don't know Dunkirk you probably do if you like Navy stuff, you must know Dunkirk. Uh, it's when basically any seaworthy vessel was sent from the UK to go and pick up soldiers and equipment from Dunkirk. Mainly soldiers, so you've got all these like pleasure cruisers and sailing boats uh, <laughs> drafted in uh, you know, to go through the mines and whatever else was floating around in the, uh, in the channel and the aircraft attacks. Yeah, crazy times, but you know... Desperate, me desperate times record, uh, require desperate measures. Easy enough for saying, difficult to say when you want to. So, yes, we're heading down to uh, Dunkirk. Um, so we've got a bit of low level clouds, and the fighters are just hopping out of these clouds uh, without really giving us too much um, prior warning. So, we're going to press on, and hopefully. We'll get to Dunkirk and see what's happening there. Should be fun. Hi everyone, welcome back. We have made Dunkirk. That is Dunkirk. And there's very little here. There's the Dunkirk lighthouse. Um, there are two ships, but they're Belgian, I think, looking at the uh, the flags. So, uh, yeah, and they're showing up as friendlies. So, yeah, there's nothing here. It would appear that the, the flotillas, the small flotillas and stuff, they're not replicated in-game, which was going to be a, uh, a bit of a long shot anyway, but... Yeah, we got these two ships. They're friendly, so we're not going to worry about them. And there's, there's no actual as such it looks like there's a water port here but it's not it's just grand because I went over there with the, the external camera to have a look and there isn't actually a port as such um, there's just this lighthouse and there's uh, the buildings and stuff so um, we did it as requested to come check this place out but there is uh, nothing here so 
we don't want to be hanging around here because, after all, this is a friendly port. Oh, sorry, an enemy port. This is a British port, so... Uh, I say British port. It's a, clearly, it's in France. Um, now we've got... Bel obviously, you see there, Belgian is... Uh, Zebrugge is obviously um, now part of the Axis. Uh, so what we got? We've got an air base here with Hurricanes, Spitfires and Ansons. Which we don't particularly want to go... Well, in reality there are air bases all over here. Um, you got... Uh, any, well, you got two big ones here. You've got Canterbury. You've got... Oh, blimey. All the ones down here. It's been a while since I played Cliffs of Dover, so I can't remember the names. But they're all down there. Hawking and... Uh, and the like. Right, we've got a ship coming out of uh, South End Harbour. It would be dangerous to go in the Thames Estuary and um, start hunting. But, yeah, what, let's see what we do. What I might do, I might just go up here to Zabrug, Zabrugge and uh, hold on out for a bit. Let's do that, in fact. Let's do that now. Uh, because we're expecting sudden western approaches to end come midnight tonight and it's 8 o'clock now uh, so that's got to the 1st of June uh, so that should end tonight and then we'll should get, we should get our second mission so yeah we're gonna head over to uh, Zabrugge and get out of uh, enemy territory and uh, and see what they have to offer over there cool well we'll press on and um, I'll see you in a bit Hi guys, we've got a seagull coming in. It's marked as an enemy aircraft. Oh, maybe it's not the seagull. Oh, there it is. It's Nansen. Get on the guns, guys. I thought it was the seagull, but it's not. It's the Anson. She comes. Got it. Yeah, that looks like a fuel tank on fire. Uh, she's going down. There you go. Also protected our little friends over there. Yes, yeah, so we haven't got very far from uh, those ships over there. There they are. Our little Belgian friends. Ah! Oh well, that's our first kill of the day. Soon to be the end of the day. It's only got half an hour gone since last time, so uh, yeah, we'll con continue on and I'll see you in a bit. Hi everyone, welcome back. We have a British freighter. So, what are we doing, I hear you ask? Well, we are making our way, we're just going to come around here, then come back into base, because it's come to June the 1st now, and we've got no new missions, so, um, ooh, we've got another ship there. We're just going to see if we can't pick off a few more ships, and, um, and call it a day. So let's just start to close in on this one. Uh, it doesn't appear to be armed, so um, I'm thinking nice sunny day like this, nice and calm on the old water, perfect day for a bit of deck gun action. She's got no guns on her, you could see there'd be a gun or a platform on the front or the rear, there's nothing there, so... Yeah, boy, yeah. No need to whisper, man. Man the deck gun! There we go. He's found his voice at last. Dieter, yeah, how Cologne. far are we to the um... yeah, vol, yeah, range is 4,300 meters thank you thank you uh, let's what should we do oh, it doesn't really matter we are gonna heading up 
back to base, so it's not terribly important. Ammo preservation. So if we go to 4,300. Is that the... There we go. Let's zoom in a bit more. I think we overshot. So let's go down to 4K and see where that goes. This is shooting well over. I know we're closing in quite rapidly, but... Three and a half. There we go, we've got a strike. Boom! Get him some good hits now. She's still a, she's still um, with us, but uh, getting some nice hits along the uh, water line. Boom, 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 pop, pop, boom. Lovely. I think we need to shorten the range. Something hugely satisfy uh, satisfying about firing the deck gun. Trying to see where we're landing these shots now. They're obviously having good effects, seeing loads of explosions. Down by the waterline, that one. Right on the waterline, lovely. Let's get some shots towards the propellers and the rudder. Nice. Switch to some high explosive. Let's bring in the heat. Keep pouring on the pain. This will get her eventually. She can't be long for this world. A couple of shots into the into the bridge. Right, let's switch to armor piercing now that we're closing in. Put a few more holes in the water line and uh, hopefully encourage her to sink to the bottom. Nice. She's hanging on in there, more so than I thought she would. Oh, that's a good one. Come on, these are good hits now. No, she's hanging in. That she's taking some punishment. This one. Goodness me. And there she goes. Finally. Well, well, well done. Let's salute that ship. She really did hang in there for all she could. Uh, but she has finally succumbed to our pounding of the guns. We still have our uh, flat guys uh, covering the ship. Look at her burn. Low and heck. Let's go and rescue some survivors because that was quite brutal actually. Quite brutal indeed. It was a Hog Island freighter for 4,100 tons. Uh, return to base. Okay, we, we are returning to base, don't worry. 
So that's um, 1,360 tons of warships and 17,222 tons of merchant tonnage. 18,582 and six ships sunk, one aircraft destroyed. That's not bad just to try and pass the time until uh, the next mission. Um, yeah, we got some crew there, so we're going to help them out. So we're going to press on, and I'll see you in a little while. Hi guys, uh, on our way back to base, we've ticked over the time, clearly, we hit June the 2nd, and we've gone straight to the summary field, so, 1940, May 31st, breaking the fortress, we completed, uh, Operation Weslebenberg, we failed that one, that's when we just could not find those ships. Uh, southwestern approaches we completed, northwestern approaches we completed, Eastern British Coastal Waters we completed, and Baltic Operations we completed. We sunk a total of 106 merchant ships. Wow! S uh, nine warships for a total of 660,809 tons. That's pretty good. <laughs> That's pretty damn good. Uh, we have got an ace rating. Oh, I thought that was the Indiana Jones music kicking in then, dun, 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 dun. but no. Uh, so we have our Iron Cross second class, which we already had, but we've been gifted this by the looks of it, have we? It's our first class, that's obviously our little thingy, that's grand. Thank you very much. The positive results in this campaign enhance our position in the war. The enemy is not defeated yet and they will certainly adapt and come back to the battle with new weapons and tactics. Wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, we've completed that, that mission. Oh, we've completed that campaign. Oh, look at that. Coastal Waters campaign. All done. Sweet. And look at the campaigns we have yet to do. So we're going to go on to happier times. And then it looks like we can go either one, one or two ways. Maybe go there, 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 and there, or there, 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 or there, or we could, yeah, wow. Wow, well, 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 we'll make that decision when we come to it. We now have Happy Times. Happy Times, 15th of June, 1940, to the 1st of March, 1941. Following the fall of France, Britain is alone. Now the U-boats have gained direct access to the Atlantic. The French bases put us 450 miles closer to the vital shipping lines that we are aiming for. This opens up new and more profitable hunting grounds, farther from the British can afford to escort their convoys, and also allows us to stay longer times on patrol. We are entering a new phase of the war at sea. Sweet. Okay, let's start that game. Welcome back to the dock, guys. We've been teleported back to the dock, obviously, to start a new mission. The guys are just fidgeting around. Uh, we seem to have lost our camouflage. And, in fact, they all seem to be in this weird, misty hue. Maybe it's just the light coming in. Anyway, let's check on what we can do. See if there's anything more we can upgrade our ship with. Hair Cologne. Oh no, there's nothing we can do. Okay. Fair enough. Let's have a word with old Hans George Weber. Welcome back, Hair Cologne. Thank you very much. Uh, let's find out what our mission orders are, shall we? Congratulations, Captain. I'm sure the British War Thank you. Cabinet is debating your performance as we speak. With the success sure of our are. Blitzkrieg through France, we have gained access to strategically important bases with direct access to the North Atlantic. This means our U-boats can now reach uh, British supply lines beyond the Why do of the ports in escort. France still appear to be allied? To capitalize then. on this development, we are redeploying our front boats. Effective immediately, you have been transferred to the second flotilla based out of Lorient. 
Our ongoing okay. effort against British shipping convoys is entering a new phase. As the number of operational U-boats now allows for the first real use of the wolf pack tactic. Ooh, As nice. Vice Admiral Dernitz wrote before the war. A number of boats working in close cooperation can be used to find convoys and overwhelm their defenses. Additionally, next month will bring the start of the long-awaited Luftwaffe offensive against Britain. Oh, we'll the Battle of Britain. That should be exciting. Support for their operations wherever possible. We are counting yes, on okay. you, Captain. Make us proud. I'll do my best, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, so... We should be based here, but it's still showing us allied. So we are, in fact, still here, near Bremen. Okay, I'm sure that's fine. Western approaches. Oh, no, here we go. Atlantic air gap. Here is our new mission. Oh, wow, it's right out in the Atlantic, near Reykjavik. Whew. That's quite the drive. Now, if we were at Lor Lorient, that would be easy. But we're here, so we're going to have to go all the way around here. Um, I'm hoping these tick over to blue in a few days or something. Because that's a bit of a worry. <laughs> I know this game isn't the, the cleanest, uh, most bug-free game in the world. But uh, I hope that will sort itself out. Anyway, the Atlantic Air Gap. Deadline, January the 31st, 1941. Wow, we've got six months to have a look at this. Uh, patrol the North Atlantic. As an island nation, the British are highly dependent on imported goods taken by ship from the colonies to the mainland. Hunting and sinking the ships carrying war materials will hit them where it hurts the most. Of course, the enemy knows this and the ships are heavily protected. Often placed in the middle of convoys, U-boats operations in the mid-Atlantic will give us an opportunity to attack without the threat from the coastal air cover. Now that would be sweet. So we're going to request that, and we're going to head out there. Welcome back, Hercule. Let's start a new patrol. So with the weird Jedi ghost effect on our ship and crew we're gonna start heading out of the port and we'll start making our way around the UK to the North Atlantic um, Radar 5 degrees to port we do seem to be going to a little bit towards the uh, Radar 5 degrees to port towards the edge of the U-boat bait which should be a bit of a Not very good if we scratched it on the way out. Submarine sighted. Ooh. It's one of ours. Bearing two, four, nine. We are incredibly close here, guys. My goodness me. Oh, if you'd have scratched Escort the new sighted. paint. Bearing two, four, one. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. We're in we're in June now. Weather is nice. It's nice and sunny. We've got these ships. Look at them. We've got the big capital ship still there. Lovely. Right, we're going to press on. And I'll see you another time. I think we'll leave it there. It's going to be, obviously, a little less action on this episode. But we have completed our first campaign. And we're now in happy times, heading towards the North Atlantic. So, I hope you have enjoyed Ships it, although it hasn't been three, two, as action-packed as we usually see. Um, but it has been an interesting one. We certainly have uh, progressed the storyline and the, uh, the, the timeline along quite nicely. Uh, and it's nice to get that first campaign completed, I'm sure you'll agree. And what a tonnage we completed with it with. Wow, that was impressive. I didn't realise we'd sunk so many ships. But now, we are hopefully going to deploy in some wolf pack tactics that will be amazing and i'm looking forward immensely to that um so yeah thanks for watching i hope you continue to enjoy the series and i'll see you next time in u46 silent hunter 5 i'll see you then